Hello and welcome to Boredom Busters with Miss Sam. If you've ever wanted to be an astronaut or a secret agent, today is your day because we are going to be making our very own DIY jetpacks out of recycled materials, of course. So let's talk materials, shall we? For this craft, you're going to need two pl big plastic bottles and you can use two two liter soda bottles, or in my case, I'm gonna use two orange juice bottles, because that's just what I have. You're going to need some duct tape, of course, because what craft do we do that doesn't involve duct tape? And of course, you're going to need some scissors as well. Um, and if you don't have child safe scissors at home, I definitely recommend that the adults take the reins on the scissors. And lastly, you're going to need a small square of cardboard that you can cut out of any Amazon box or delivery box that you received recently. Um, but you just want it to make sure that the square is just a little bit smaller than the two bottles. So let's get started. To start, you're gonna wanna tape your two bottles together using the duct tape. So let's do that. <laughs> I think the best way to do this is to just mush them together. Oh no. <laughs> Don't tape them like that. <laughs> just mush them together and just tape one side and then... See, this is why some projects are better to do with two people. Ain't that the truth. And you're just gonna take the tape and wrap it around as best we can. And we'll see how this goes. Okay, so that should be enough to at least go around once. Sometimes your duct tape is very messed up. <laughs> okay. Okay, at least they're taped together. That's all we can hope for, right? So now they're together, our two fuel tanks, uh, shall we say. And now you're going to want to make your jetpack straps out of the duct tape. And, and you want them to be pretty long because they're going to be wrapping around your shoulders. So since I'm an adult, supposedly, I'm going to be making mine pretty long. And we'll just let the tape go like that. And count it. So now you have your one long piece of tape. This is gonna be one strap. And what you're gonna to wanna to do with this tape is to um, fold it in half so that, cause you don't wanna actually tape the straps onto your body. Nobody wants duct tape on them like that. So just do your best to fold it in half and make a makeshift strap out of it. And as always, we'll see how this goes. My strap is already getting a little lumpy and bumpy. So as we always say, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just try your best. And as long as it's mostly functional, your kid will have a blast. Okay, so here's one of my straps. And I'm just gonna put that to the side for now. And we're gonna need to make another one. And you can always measure, ooh, And you can, oh my gosh. So many technical difficulties with this craft because of the duct tape. So you can always measure them to make sure they're roughly the same size. And cut it. And fold, of course. So we're just gonna 
fold that, fold it, and back. Oh, it's much easier the second time. Practice really does make a difference. Okay, so our two straps, and let me hold them up for everyone to see. One's a little longer than the other, so I am going to trim it. There we go. But we have our two straps, and now we need to figure out how to connect them to our jetpack so that we can actually wear our jetpacks. So to do that, you're going to want to take your square and place it on top of what's going to be the back of your jetpack. So whatever you want to be the back, you can pick which side. And you're going to want to also duct tape this because this is how it's going to prop up against your back because the bottles are rounded. So that's not going to feel good on your back. I'm just going to do that first. <laughs> and I want to cover all of it because I kind of want it to look very nice and metallic-y. For aesthetic. I'm going to cut a couple more strips. Oh my goodness. Me and this duct tape are having a rough day. <laughs> So then it should kind of look like this. Very, very shiny, as you can see. And now we're ready to tape our straps onto the jetpack. So we're just going to want like a little bit of tape. You don't need that much. And we're going to take our strap and tape it to one side of the jetpack. And we're going to take our other strap and tape it to the back as well. This is to the cardboard portion. And then tape that as well. And then we're also going to want to tape it to the front of the jetpack because that's how we make a strap. And let's see, I'm going to need some more tuck tape for this. This might end up using all of the duct tape in your house. Who knows? Tape it onto this. Alright, and as you can see, I taped it to the front kind of upside down and pulled it up and then just taped it like that. So with that, I mean, you can, like I always say, you can always decorate it more, color it, 
cover it with different colored paper or anything like that. But we are basically done. Um, another thing that you can always do is add some colored paper or if you have extra felt at home, you can cut out little flames and have it coming out of the bottom, out of the uh, tops, I guess, of the jet backs. Um, but since mine is made out of orange juice containers, I'm just pretending that this is fire. Um, so let's try it on and see how it looks. Oh boy. All right. Looks like I'm ready to blast off. Look at that. <laughs> so then you can always do some imaginative play with your kid and really go wild with it. But enjoy, and if you make it, please post it on the library Facebook page and let me see what you've made. I always like to see what people make. But this has been a Board and Buster, and have a great day.